Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Astro Biological. My name is Ben, I'm the host of Astro Biological, and it's good to have you along. Uh, today, we're going to do a little bit of exploring using Space Engine. It's a little simulating program or simulator program I've recently acquired from my computer, and it's a ton of fun. So, today, we're going to explore a nearby star system, see what's out there. And um, you know, meet the locals of the Rarity, and do some exploring of, or at least our neighbourhood of the universe. There's a lot of universe to explore, but we're just gonna go down a straight, so to speak. Starting from home, where's home for me? I'm from I live in Adelaide, which is right there in South Australia. That big grey patch right there, that's us. Alright, so let's go. Let's leave Earth behind. Bye, Earth. It looks like green and clay up there, doesn't it? Anyway. Let's spare things up. Alright, up, up, and away. Make it so. Right, Earth. We've all been there. Nice place, though, but yeah. Looks a lot nicer from far away. Alright, we're going to visit. Proxima Centauri star system today. So there it is. And let's go. Woof! Woof! Beautiful. There it is. Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf located about four and a half light years away from Earth. It's our nearest stellar neighbor. And a source of uh, much excitement lately because recently was discovered an Earth-like planet orbiting within this star's habitable zone. The habitable zone, if you don't know, is the imaginary um, zone around a star in, at which water can exist in a liquid form on a planet's surface. That's the simplest definition and that obviously has important uh, ramifications for habitability and life. So, yeah. It's caused a bit of a buzz. There may be some other planets discovered which uh, have similar properties, so might get to check them out later on. Not today, but in a future episode or whatever. I'll get to it. So today we're going to check out, let's see what's here, Proxima 4. Right, let's go. Alright, beautiful. Proxima 4. A frozen titan. Let's get out of that. Get rid of all that nonsense at the top. A lot of info then asides. For the um, statistics freaks out there. So this isn't a real planet here, but uh, it's been uh, lovingly uh, festooned with lots of uh, statistics, uh, physical characteristics and whatnot by the simulator. So it seems real. It's real enough. It's the closest I'll ever get. Let's put it that way. Um, you can remove, you can edit a planet, you can take away water, clouds, atmosphere, or whatnot, turn it into a barren, lifeless shell, like that. But no, we want all that. Because realism is what it's all about. So, it's a pretty little place. It does resemble a Titan in our own solar system. What's that dot at the front? That looks interesting. All right, stay still. Go, woof, and woof, an asteroid, or a dwarf moon in this case, orbiting uh, the planet. A Proxima Four is what the simulator is calling the planet because it's the fourth planet out from the Proxima star. But let's check out this moon now. Why they go dark? Because that's what the moon would look like in uh, a real situation. Red dwarf being what it is, much smaller and dimmer than our own sun, gives off much less heat and light. But I'll uh, turn the lights so we can see what we're doing. Can't have it too real, because too real is kind of boring. Let's go in. Let's stop. Let's stop. Let's stop. Oop, oop, oop. oop. Breaks. Alright, whoop. Smashy, crashy. Yeah, 
expand it out. And there we are. One day somebody will be the first human being to see such a sight. They will have left Earth and have traveled for a long, long time. I'll eventually get to most likely somewhere like Proxima nearby and we'll see this and maybe the first living thing to see it ever who knows yeah, maybe life in the system here or not it's impossible to tell we can only speculate well what's going on there I'm getting too close wireframe asteroid let's go out out back up out back in upside down turn around what are we doing right we're zooming out to take in the full majesty of this moon look like a big gigantic space potato beautiful orange glow reflection from the planet below and there's a daylight side obviously right, what are we going to do spin this thing around a bit or we could just go in and do some scenery hunting that's what we'll do this moon looks cool let's go in yep okay now what are we trying to do here now, who doesn't love a good sunrise? I got an idea. Behold, Proxima Sunrise. Oh, that's what it's all about. That's what you want to see when you travel through space. Magnificent vistas and alien suns and all that stuff. This uh, space engine is really pretty good. It's, it looks like it procedurally generates the universe as you travel through it because obviously no one had the foggiest clue what anything in this system looks like really. Uh, but no, the planet Proxima 4, Proxima B, sorry, exists but that's really about all they know about it. This is all simulation but it really gives you a taste for exploring and wondering what's out there and it makes you want to learn more oh, this is fantastic now it's uh, got a little having a little drone flight over the surface of this moon would be easy to walk on it that's for sure it thinks a smaller gravity would be minimal at best awesome I'm just going to change the hands of my microphone. My arm's getting tired. Alright. Yeah, it's getting pretty late. I need to go to bed soon. But, not for a few minutes. So, I'm just going to see what's around this corner here. No, nope, nothing there. Back. Down. Get down. Does anybody watch that Donald Skane on YouTube at all? An Irish TV chef sort of guy. Get Dane. Put that Dane. Get Dane. Get Dane to the moon. My Irish accent is pretty bad, I guess. Obviously. Yeah. You need to screenshot stuff like that. Proxima 4 down below. Frozen Titan, according to the simulator. Let's go to the planet, zoom in. Whoop, Whew, that was close. Now, what are we looking 
for features. Look like um, like a huge kind of delta plane there. Now, on being a frozen titan, that would mean that the uh, simulator has given us a world um, where the hydrological cycle is uh, dominated by methane, liquid methane. Those rivers and channels we see and see it would be uh, liquid methane, meaning that this place is seriously cold. The methane can't become a liquid um, unless it's freakishly cold. It's probably around 175 degrees or minus 175 degrees Celsius, give or take. It doesn't really matter. Long before then, anyway, you're dead. Unless you've got a meaty Parker on. There it is. Very hazy world. Looks like it's polluted beyond belief. That's what Titan looks like. So, hence this world being a frozen Titan is the same. Looks like it's covered in orange smog. Uh, the orange in Titan's uh, atmosphere comes from the huge amount of uh, organic compounds present in its atmosphere. And this planet uh, appears to be the same. Let's explore it a bit. Whoop. That's what it would really look like, uh, given the uh, mega light coming out of the Proxima star. And Titan would be the same. It looks like it's uh, evening or dusk there, because of its distance from our sun. Anyway, can't really see much. And as I said, being too realistic can be boring. So, you know what, let's fake it a bit. Turn the light back on. Looks good. It's a fake planet anyway. So who cares? But I've never seen this fake planet before, so it's still just as much fun exploring it. Ooh, down, up. Up, up, up. Ooh. Still getting used to flying this thing. Descending again. Don't want to get too low because you don't see as much. Need a view. That's what plane travel is all about. So pretend you're in a plane. Right, let's get right back out. Spin this place around like a top. Oh, that looks interesting. A little coastline there. Let's go check that out. That'll be fun. Thanks for watching. Anyone who's watching right now. Appreciate it. Down, down, down we go. Right. Position yourself. Oop. Take a too close. I want to splash down. More channels. Carve that by streams of methane in the coastal areas of this planet. That looks so cool. Really, really cool. Really well done. I just love the way the sun glints in uh, those rivers there and the, and the uh, surface of the lakes and seas. Very nice. slow really we can speed that up surely but not just yet are those islands up there at the top center of the screen look like little like um, an archipelago lots and lots of islands how is such a planet form theories anyone what would the structure of such a planet be theories anyone Feel free. Make me as crazy as you like. There we go. Look at that rocky terrain. Let's patch this blue there. Maybe water ice. I like I'm not 
actual real I've tightened there's water ice lots and lots of it so it's entirely possible that uh, it would be like this they look like uh, glaziers or sheets of ice Um, the top peaks and elevated places on the planet. Another one of those huge rivers which you can see from space. Uh, that would be a view. That would be a view. Oh, what's that? No, those mountains there look cool. We have to check those out. Oh, that is sexy. We ain't going down there. There's like a fjord, a methane fjord there. It's like an alien version of Norway. What a haze, that's what Titan would look like. Just imagine you're in Titan right now. Or even very ancient Earth. I reckon astrobiologists and other scientists reckon, believe, theorize that Earth may have looked something like this before life appeared. That is very nice, and that's worth a screenshot, that is. That is definitely worth a couple of screenshots, which I am doing. Going down again, looking for a, a photo op. Methane fjord again. Very smooth surface. It doesn't act like water. It doesn't, uh, whatever winds and uh, climate this planet would have, methane doesn't s ripple as easily as water does. It's a lot uh, heavier and thicker. Quite hard to swim and breathe in it. Look at that. That's a view. Screenshot time. And off we go. Okay, that's enough of Proxima 4. Very nice place. Worth a visit. We'll be back. Writing a review right now. Putting on their Facebook page. Proxima 4 was wonderful. We had a great time. The views were marvellous. Food not so good. But we bought our own. So it was okay. Bye, Proxima 4. We'll see you again. That's Proxima Star. Let's go out there. All the planets are here. Oh, that arrow is not appearing. That shows you where the planet is. Oh, well. Let's find somewhere else then. Nope. Can't go there. Can't go there. Hmm. Huh? Well, let's go there. Okay. It's weird. Anyway. A proxim, proximal, proximity, proximoso, proximinian. I don't know what the word is. Gas or ice giant orbiting Proxima. Another one of those little asteroidal moons. Might be a million, zillion of those things floating around the galaxy. Another huge space potato. Right. Looks cool. Looks good. Looks great. Giant rock bun. Right. Where are we going now? Back to Earth. Oh, Ben, no. Not just yet. Okay, what, what place is this? Nice. Okay, another star. Planet. What's that? Go there. Right. A hot gas giant orbiting this planet. Let's check it out. Woof! Whoop! Get rid of those weird little spots. Heh <laughs> heh You saw nothing. In 
Fuck. Okay. Pretty serene looking place. Something like Saturn in our solar system. But who knows what's going on beneath those clouds? Who knows? Being as it's made of planet. Heh, could be anything. Weird. Civilization of Super Mario's living beneath those clouds. Who bloody well knows? Anyway. It's time to get out of here. We need to head on back to the barn soon. Look at Earth, sweet Earth. Don't need to, but you know, I want to. Okay, pretty, beautiful. More stars. No shortage of stars in this universe. That's how big the universe is. No one will ever explore it all. No one. I don't care what anyone says how advanced alien civilizations are. If they're even out there, who knows? I like to think they are. But right now I'm just uh, happy to find we'll be happy to find anything alive on another planet. So back home. Back home to bed. We are nearly done. We're going now back to Australia. Where my bed is, which I'm about to get into. This whole YouTube caper is very time consuming sometimes. It's fun, but boy, does it take chunks of your day out. But we do it for the love. We don't do it for the money, because there is none. Because my channel has had less than 2,000 views, and these 10,000 at least to get monetized, so eh, oh well. I guess it's just going to get up there one of these days when I'm 70, but well, that's life. Sell our V. Anyway, I'll see you all later. Don't forget to subscribe. Alright, subscribe, like, and share with your friends, uh, comments, suggestions, all that sort of stuff. I'll uh, catch you all next time. Have a fantastic day, night, evening, morning, whatever you're doing. See ya. And remember, Astrobiological, giving you the universe in plain human. Catchphrase. <laughs>